Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. This video is meal by meal approach to stockpiling or just buying food and seven meals and seven tips. So I hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, I know a lot of my followers follow Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Life. Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Life could have lost our home. A big storm came in and uh, wrecked the house next door, but fortunately they seem to be okay. So that's scary. So praising Jesus that our home is okay. So, okay, let's start out with the meal by meal approach. A lot of people take this approach and it is a good approach. In a way I do it, but you know, I know what I need, but I haven't really been presenting it as meal by meal. The first one is tomato soup and crackers. So I started buying this assortment of crackers from uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, I buy any kind they have. I find them to be good. And so I make the soup. You can make this with milk or water. And then I just drop the whole cracker in it. And it tastes so delicious with the hot soup. That's one of my meals. I will eat that sometimes for weeks on end. Uh, I eat in the middle of the night because I get up late. But if you don't have any tomato soup, you can make your own with this stuff. And it makes a lot. So uh, this is going into... Uh, some of the stuff I did tonight. So uh, just pretend like this, this is for fresh tomatoes, but you just uh, skip this part about uh, plunging the tomato into the boiling water and removing the skin. So you just chop, you put in, you put the, it can be um, any kind of tomatoes. You put the tomatoes, in a pan, salt, pepper, and sugar, and you, you chop them with a spatula. But then what you can do is you can put them in your blender and you can pulse them until they're a soup. You remove them and put them back in the pan and then add a pat of butter. And that is gonna give you a really good tomato soup. So if you stockpile, I've heard people say, don't stockpile tomatoes. I think that's the craziest thing I have ever heard. Also, you can make ketchup if you have tomatoes. Just, you know, uh, take your ketchup, take your tomatoes, drain them, pulse them, and add a little sugar. Okay, so number one, tomato soup and crackers. All right. So if you don't have a stockpile, you can maybe buy one or two of these every once in a while. You don't really need to spend that much money to come up with a lot of food. Number two. Okay, this is a cheap one. This is a really good one. Top ramen. You don't have to buy this many. So you cook your top ramen. Then when it's time to eat it. Oh no. Oh, I try to move everything to the front because I knew I was going to need. Oh, uh, here it is. Five drops of hot sauce. And flaming hot Cheetos. I don't know why this works, but this is like one of my best meals. Um... If you don't have, if you don't have flaming hot Cheetos, I buy them when they're, so I always have them because I know this meal. And uh, sometimes I get the cups, but if you have the hot sauce, a couple drops makes all the difference. Or you can get the Asian hot sauce. Sometimes they make the top ramen with a little hot sauce with an egg on top. So that is number two. So we're going meal by meal by meal. Number three is cereal and rice. So you might be going, what kind of a meal is cereal and rice? So I bought this cereal uh, today, two for a dollar. I will leave these out. And then I had this rice. So what I made was rice milk. It's really, really easy to make. So I left it. This is... 
here it is. But if you were going to eat this on a uh, soup, this would be a little thick and gluey. I'll show you. It's good though. Uh, this is why we want to stockpile rice and beans. So, see how it's a little too gluey? So, all you do, so in this condition, it's a little too gluey. So, I would just add, and I made this with bottled water. I would just make, I would mix this uh, thinner so that it's not gluey. And so then you're going to come up with some decent rice milk. So as long as you have rice, you're always going to have some milk. Or if something happens and we can't get any cow's milk. Okay, so today I bought, and I will leave this out too, this vanilla yogurt. And I have plans. I bought these two for a dollar. I bought two. And on top you get the cereal. And then with this one, it's a vanilla yogurt. And probably tomorrow I'm going to make yogurt. So now, uh, so this is like a two for one. You could put your cocoa pops in your in your yogurt, but this would be good too. So uh, you know that can't be good. This is good. Or imagine you don't have any milk. could put that in your tomato soup. All right, now the next one is sandwich with a small fruit or a small veggie. This is like deviled ham, but it's chicken. So if I had two pieces of bread, mayonnaise and mustard and this chicken, and some tomatoes and lettuce, that's gonna make me a good sandwich. Or if I had some kind of fruit. And I have showed you, here are the raisins I made yesterday, a little handful of raisins. We're coming back to the raisins. So am I gonna be suffering? I think I'll buy a couple more of these tomorrow. I can make all kinds of things out of a rice milk. All right. Now, the next one is macaroni and cheese or spaghetti on the cheap. Okay, I discovered this macaroni and cheese from Dollar Tree. It makes tons of macaroni. So with this big one, you could make a uh, half macaroni and cheese and then you could make half spaghetti because of so much pasta. I bought this for 48 cents at a uh, Walmart and then when you have funds buy good herbs and then you can add olives and cheese or mushrooms and cheese. So by um so that would be like two meals. This is a mini meal. This is a great little meal. I eat these meals all the time in the middle of the night. Now, I'm leaving that out because I have something to say. I made, I, I, I like this. I got this at 99 cent only, I think. What I'm doing now, because I don't need food, is I am just buying cheap food. And in addition to the food I already have, so if it was the middle of the night and I had my, high, my hot tea and my cereal and milk, I would be fine. That's what I eat all the time. All right. Make big, make bean soup with lunch meat sandwich, like bologna, salami, and cheese. And if you have tomato and lettuce, that would be awesome. And you will after you start doing this. So I put my beans in. Uh, this holds about a cup. So for one person, 
all you need is a half cup. So that is going to begin to show you that when you buy a pound of beans, you're going to be able to get by. Uh, I want to give you my Navy Bean recipe. I want to get this stuff out here. I think hard times are coming. Check the beans for rocks. Wash good in salt, water, and rinse. And I rub those beans good. Okay, then uh, to do the speed bowl method, I put the beans in a pot and I cover them with water and I bring them to a boil and then I let them set for one hour covered and then I rinse them and I, I wa water beans, ham or bacon or some lard or some oil or some butter, uh, dry onion, garlic, bring to a boil and turn down and a simmer until they're done. Then you're always going to have a little bean soup. And um, so uh, let me give you a feature man's coleslaw recipe. It's right here. Start buying these uh, cabbage, um, carrots, and tomatoes, and then mayonnaise, relish, and ketchup. Then you're always going to have a little veggie to go with your sandwiches. All right and your soup. Here is my yogurt recipe. This is what I'll be making. Okay, heat a big pan of water to boiling. Here it is. So, I mean, not that big, you know, a saucepan, but a roaring boil. And then I cover it with foil. Uh, slip it into the, the oven to create a warm environment. Three, bring three cups of milk to almost boiling and hold there for 25, 20 to 30 minutes. Take one half cup yogurt out. So from the beginning of this process, let your yogurt get to room temperature because if it's too cold, it's cold, it's going to impede the yogurt culture. Pour hot milk into a large bowl to cool to warm, like a warm bath, a pretty warm bath. Add room temperature yogurt and slip into the oven and leave overnight. If everything's going right, it should take in about three hours. Okay, now, okay, so say, now the next one is, add pasta or potatoes to the can, to can meals. So if you were gonna have this, I got this fifth. I try to find this kind of stuff. I'm showing you 50% off. If it's there and it's 65 cents, I buy it. So you have a can meal, add potatoes, or add pasta. Now, if you're broke, see these pastas? This is 99 cents. I know, all these 50 cents. So maybe add a little handful of pasta. Or you can use your tomato sauce with this. So, um, or you can make french fries. Or you can use, uh, make baked potatoes. So you would put your beef stew in a bowl with a little pile of baked potatoes on top. And if you don't have all this stuff, or you can break up your pasta and put a little bit of that in. Okay, this is the last one. These don't go soggy. They had cereal today, so cheap at Grocery Outlet, 79 cents. This is not bad. It's a whole lot better than cereal with water. Guarantee that. The next one is find rice meals. See this? It's got peas and carrots in it. And on the back here, they have a good looking recipe with corn, uh, black beans, and cheese. So fine rice meals. It doesn't have to be the packages, but these are easy to stockpile. And I think all you add is a little uh, two cups water and one tablespoon margarine optional. But if you have Butter or margarine is going to taste a whole lot better. So you have beans, you have rice, various forms. So that is the seven meals. Uh, to the rice meal, like rice aroni, add 
uh, beans, hearty vegetables, or olives, mushrooms, and cheese. So you can add that to like your beans, even uh, stir fries. Now for the seven tips, stockpile a little food all the time. So not spending a lot, but just buying a little bit of food all the time. Like today I bought these, this, this, um, these cocoa puffs for 50 cents, two for a dollar. When I find two for a dollar, I usually buy them. Um, okay, so now we're gonna try to stockpile using the meal by meal approach. So you start out with, if you don't have any food, if you buy two for the price of one, you have two days, so you're getting two days. Then you try to get enough food for the weekend, so you have your week's food and the weekend. Then you go for three days, so you have a weekend and three days, and then you just finish the week off. Or you go to the food bank and you get a food every, every week, and you have food in the house. Uh, buy drastically reduced items. Okay, I bought this, all these. Uh, this was, uh, how much was this? I think it was 57 cents. I just bought this. They probably still have one. That was drastically reduced. I bought uh, these two for the price of one. That was drastically reduced. Um, I bought cookies for a dollar and I thought you know what you're gonna get any kind of cookies they have that are a dollar and you're gonna quit being picky and you're gonna eat them and 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 they were really good <laughs> they are uh, gingerbread cookie stripes grocery outlet then at some point I bought these graham crackers and here's the raisins I made or you could have an apple or an orange or banana to go with your sandwich. Remember the old days, peanut butter sandwich, two grand crackers and some fruit? Uh, none of you were born. <laughs> I was in kindergarten. Look for no egg items, things that generally take. So today I made a special point and I found this, and this is what I was looking for, cornbread that does not require an egg because I don't want to use my eggs up. And then I have these that don't require an egg, biscuits and muffins. But if all things, pancakes, anything, all things are equal, I'm going for the one that doesn't require an egg. Look for two for $1. So I got these two for $1. I got these two for $1. I got, I got, several things oh this was two for one dollar so for three dollars i got six items and then i will just eat them also i got this a uh, country pumpkin uh butter and when i make my um my cornbread with no egg i will put some homemade butter and some of this these were four dollars i got this for two dollars but the thing is is the jar is going to help me when I make my uh, refrigerator jam. Okay, uh, make french fries. So you're having, you don't have that much money, but say you have some tomato soup, some crackers, and a big pile of french fries. Or you have an egg and a toast and some fried potatoes. You're going to start thinking, wow, what am I going to do, sit here and starve? No, you're going to make some potatoes. All right, then back to this. This is a lot of milk. I would say about four cups. Uh, oat milk, rice milk. Uh, that's a quarter quarter cup rice. Oatmeal milk would be the same way. What I did is I boiled it, and when the milk was very, very milky, I removed the milk, and I poured it through a screen. Then when the... the the rice was almost pulverized in the, the milk. I returned everything to the blender. And that's the same way where I make oat milk, almond milk. You have to boil the almonds, squeeze the skin off, and then you rinse them and you start over with the water. And at least you know what's in it. A uh, soy milk, I don't know about making that one uh, homemade. Uh, coconut milk for sure, unsweetened peas. 
I don't know about making pea milk. Cashews, uh, get the unsalted. Hazelnuts, oh, uh, well, I don't know because of the skin, but you could try. Um, no, so back to these oat milks and why do you want to do this? Well, let's think about Soylent Green, you know what I'm saying? The demand is higher than the amount of meat. And we got to trust them not to do something like Soylent Green. If we find out, we might want to discontinue the eating of meat. Animals die. Uh, okay, you know these horrible storms? They can easily kill off all the animals. Animal disease from uh, our friends who gave us the COVID. Uh, meat could get so expensive we can't afford it. Another thing is, is if we protect our money by eating more vegetable portions, like we have some good coleslaw, we have some good carbs, we have maybe some rice, and then we have a small five ounce portion at night of, of meat, you know, we can get by like that too. All right, now here's a creepy one, genetically modified animals. Modified with what? With sort of like green meat, that's what. You go, you're ridiculous. I go, yeah, I know, but I'm just exploring all the options of reasons. Okay, now uh, stock up some tea. So you have some rice and you have some tea. Fruit, jam. Uh, you know, make yourself refrigerator jam. Just boil your um, fruit up like the rice with a little sugar and then put it in the blender, blend it up and put a little uh, lemon juice if you have it. If not, just spread it on your bread. Dehydrate, uh, okay, those, I'm buying one of those, uh, I think they're about a pound boxes of fruit, and I'm making either dehydrating it, uh, making jam, or just freezing the fruit, like blueberries and uh, strawberries. Bread, I'm gonna be making bread. You know, bread with butter and an egg and some fried potatoes, uh, French toast, uh, bread and cheese. Okay, vegetables. Okay, so we have a couple cheap veggies on hand, cabbage, tomatoes, and carrots. But if you don't have any tomatoes, you can just make it with carrots and cabbage. Um, but start trying to grow indoors on, da on deck balcony and small yard so that is my tips you guys okay you guys please like comment and subscribe and i was reading the comments and god bless you all